trying to make a poker table reflect people's personalities has to be a tough job. It's very difficult to do. So um, when we saw the table, uh, it had some of our catchphrases on it, our, our caricature on there as well. Um, and so the folks at, at BBO uh, were really kind in getting to know what we wanted with the colors, with the, the kind of the thought process behind it, how we feel about the game. And so uh, just like people invite us into their living rooms when they watch poker, uh, it's nice that now they have an opportunity and hope they take the chance to adopt the table and, and also bring that into their homes and, and feel good about us being a part of their poker world. It's really great. You know, I had a thought in mind for the design of our, our poker table and pretty much this wasn't it. Uh, I wanted uh, I wanted a double decker table, like you see double decker freeways. Oh. So you have twice as many people playing. They talked about the problem with the people's legs coming down and them being in, in the view of the people who are on the lower. But you know, I, I grew up in bunk beds and that wasn't a problem. So but they said, no, we can't do double decker. That's got a that's got a bad logistical infrastructure problem, and we can't do some of the other stuff I wanted. And so the design of the table, I had no input. They just, whatever Lon said is what they did, and apparently it worked. Double decker. Double decker. Two, two, two levels of poker. They do it with freeways. Now the people down here are looking at people sitting down up here. No, they're, it's high enough so you're not looking at the people there, and then their legs come down, and then you give them a little ankle rub. Yeah. When BBO first came to us and talked about a table, it was it was a nice little rush. But then it's like, why? <laughs> There's a lot of poker tables out there. Um, but then we started talking with George and the folks here and the designers, and uh, it's all first class. I also know people who have worked with BBO, and um, they had nothing but positive things to say. And so if you know we wanted to be attached to a poker table, poker table company. Uh, it was really a no-brainer to work with BBO because the work they've done is just amazing and I'm really happy about it. Yeah, to be honest, it was kind of an accident that, uh, I don't know about a lot, but for me that I, we ended up partnering with BBO to make the signature table. I, I had bad information. I, I thought BBO did like house additions and I was looking for a gazebo in the backyard. And so we got together and, and we were talking to each other and we realized he's talking about a gazebo and they're talking about a poker player. I said, well, a poker table, I, I, I'm a poker broadcaster. And then they described what they could do and they're pretty nice people. But at the end of the day, I didn't know if I want to do a signature table with BBO, except one, they seemed to know what they were doing. Two, they were really nice people. And then three, of course, of course, the money. Uh, <laughs> the money was very important to me. And once they showed me the money, uh, I was right on board with a BBO signature table. Well, it's on the table. A, don't play pocket jacks and stay away from ace queens. But other than that, um, it's yeah, I, I think buy it in, in the spirit in which it was intended. Um, poker is a social game. Have fun with it, invite friends over, invite family over, make memories around our table, uh, which as Norman mentioned earlier, that's what poker is all about. He sits down and he comes alive at the table. And um, it's, it's a great uh, bridge to the world, as he said, and it's a great bridge to your friends and people you haven't seen for a long time. What I would tell people playing at my signature table and a lot of my signature table is, first of all, when you're at the table, I think poker postures are very important. So I always tell people, people to sit up. You know, if you're if you're like leaning back or you're you're slouched over, you don't you don't have you don't have the, the posture of a winner. So it's it's nice to sit up, be attentive, be enjoying the people around you. Uh, it's good to have a beverage in front of you, and this is why it's it's hard to knock it over because it's right in here. All right, and then when you're playing poker, you, you look at everybody else. Let's stay off your smartphone. We don't want any smartphones on a BBO signature table. We want interaction between everybody else. And no matter where you're playing, uh, let's go with English only. Let's go with English only, uh, <laughs> even in Portugal. Uh, yeah, even in Portugal, even Definitely. in uh, Nigeria, and even in Brazil. 
English only at the BBO poker table, and I think uh, you'll have a better day. Can I plug my phone in here? Right. No, no, no smartphones. Oh, they do have this stuff here. No smartphones. You can do it, but power them off, but don't use. You know, when you answer, you know, when you answer a phone during a hand, particularly if it's from a spouse, you don't win the hand. So stay off the smartphones when you're on our signature table.